Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Show us your kits. Your what? Your collection cleaning kits. <laughs> We are collectors, just a little bit. Yes, and <laughs> let's face it, if you're building a collection, you gotta find good deals. And usually those good deals can be at flea markets, thrift shops, pawn shops, yard sales, garage sales, all kinds of stuff like meets. that. And if you're buying stuff from there, you wanna play it safe and keep that stuff nice and clean. Cause they're gonna be gooey. What we would like to do is share with you guys what we use to clean some of the stuff in our collection and invite some of our YouTube buddies along and see what they use for their collection kits. Because you never know, you might learn something new. Don't kill him. He won't learn nothing. <laughs> well, let's lead the charge and start off with the standard. Q-tips and your alcohol. Now, we like to use a small bottle because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And honestly, I'm clumsy enough that if I knock this over, <laughs> at least it's only this much alcohol. Obviously, things like Q-tips are perfect for those retro games, but they're really handy for controllers as well, especially around the analog sticks. You don't want to get a whole lot of moisture around that, but you do want to really get into those grooves because that's where all of that dirt and grime builds up. Personally, I pick up more toys than I do video games, and just like video games, toys get kind of icky and grimy too. So Q-tips and alcohol are a perfect way to clean that off so that you know that those are your germs on that toy, not somebody else's, and the Q-tips get into those little tiny crevices. This house is clear. That's something that everybody's cleaning kit probably has. Something maybe a little more unique are some nail cleaners. What's nice is that they're a very soft plastic, so they've got some give to them. They're very malleable, and even though they're a little pointy to be able to get under those nails, they are perfect when it comes to controllers, getting into all of those grooves and crevices that uh, hide that disgusting human jerky. I was going to say, I definitely try not to watch him clean video game stuff because I don't want to know what's in there. But that nice soft plastic ensures that you can get into all those grooves without scratching anything up. And for us, something that's a little bit of an identifier when we, whenever we're cleaning something from the collection is moral support, having a cleaning buddy. Because come on, cleaning stuff, it gets to be a little tedious and it's nice to have somebody there with you. Oh. Oh, thanks. There you go. Get thanks. those right into where you can. Yeah. So, how was the office today? Oh, so freaking busy. So much stuff to do today. So, did you have a good lunch today? You know, I went ahead and uh, skipped over lunch. There were some things that I you wanted to do. You shouldn't do that. Now. I'm always telling you, quit skipping your lunch. I was just trying to get some That's stuff That's why you're always so hungry when I make dinner at night. Ooh, hey, guess what? We're having meatloaf for dinner. Yes. Like we said before, we're going to check out some of our other friends and see what's in their kits. So, Linda, show us your kits. Thank you, Tom and Lacey. This is Linda A.K., the Gamer Girl, and the three items that I use are for cleaning my game carts and my controllers and systems. So the first item is rubbing alcohol and one-up cards. I use these. These are a little bit bigger then the q-tips so I always grab these and the felt can be replaced so that is a good thing and the second one is baby wipes not very many people know but or just don't want to go get them they are good they are good to clean controllers in my opinion they also are great for consoles they are great for many many things when you got gunk all over it and they're not abrasive so they don't damage your beautiful beautiful controller and the third and last thing is potato chips. Because, you know, after cleaning all those carts, you need to get yourself some potato chips and, like, you know, because you're hungry, you're cleaning your cart, you're cleaning your skin. Oh, crap. My bad. Oh, man. Hold on. I made a mess, hold on. So, yeah, ma'am. Basically, you gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do, so yeah. Just you know 
You gotta get your potato chips. Uh, you gotta eat, you know, keep yourself maintained, you know, for, you know, your controllers. Oh crap, I got my stuff again. Man. I'm sorry. Okay. You know what? I'm making a mess. Why don't I just stop? So thank you, Tom and Lacey, for having me on this collab. Let's throw it back to you guys. Baby wipes. That is a good one. That Honestly, I wouldn't idea. have thought of that. No, I know. But she was making me hungry, so I had to get some snacks. Also, I really like the chip thing. Yeah. You gotta have your snack. Mm -hmm. because what are you your doing? Ah, you just cleaned it. Didn't you learn anything from Linda? <sighs> Go get the baby wipes. Obviously, you want your collection to be clean for sanitary reasons, but you also want it to look good, which is why now we're turning it over to the master of display, Discart. Show us your kits. Hi, I'm Discart. This is my cleaning kit. There are many like it, but this one's mine. So first of all, one of the things that I always have in my cleaning kit is Q-tips. Uh, I think the majority of people that are out there have used Q-tips for cleaning games or boards or really anything in gaming. When you want to be pretty strong to get stuff off, but not so strong that you're damaging the pins on cartridges, a Q-tip is a fantastic way to go. A 1-Up card is a fantastic way to get at the really tough areas on a cartridge. If you can't get it off with a Q-tip and you need to work fast, a 1-Up card works fantastic. And I've had a lot of cartridges that I thought were done for uh, get cleared up really fast with a 1-Up card. One kind of weird, unique item that I have in my cleaning kit is a bunch of these little tiny screws. And a lot of them are the Tri-Wing design for the Tri-Wing screwdriver, which is on a lot of different Nintendo products. And then some of these screws are for cartridges for like the Sega Genesis as well. And this just allows me to have extras if I happen to lose one or if I need one for a cartridge that's missing one. I just have these in my cleaning kit because it's a great place to have them and I'll be needing them on hand while I'm cleaning it. Another kind of weird item that I have in my cleaning kit is a stand. And there's these little stands that you can find uh, on eBay and probably Amazon and they are for holding coins. So with two different pieces, these go together and make a really nice little lean back type stand where you can put your game on it or you can put whatever you need on this to hold it up while you're working on it or while it's on the side. I always like to have a stand on hand and these little tiny cheap inexpensive ones, they're clear, they'll make whatever you put in them look awesome and I'm discard. I talk about displaying a bunch of different items in people's game collections, so I really have to have a stand on me at most times. And of course, the last item that I like to keep in my cleaning kit is a letter that was written to me from Do You Nerd. They sent me this a little while ago. Uh, Dear Discart, uh, we agree to send you the Zelda CDI games as soon as possible, um, so be looking for those in the mail. Sincerely, uh, Do You Nerd. That's really nice of them and so I like to keep that in my cleaning kit. It's been some time since they sent this letter but I, I expect those any day. Another shout out to the Q-tips and I really like the idea of having extra screws on hand. Which goes really handy with the screwdriver kit that we like to put in there. And you keep bringing it up. Don't worry we didn't forget. I swear as soon as we're done here I'm gonna put them in the mailbox. Hey you, yeah you, how do you do? We've had the honor of actually game hunting with these next gentlemen. Gaming off the grid, go to a lot of the same places we do to find those deals, so... Hey, bro duo, show us your kits. All right, do you nerd, you asked us to show you our kits, so... We declare a nipple war. Um, this is about cleaning kits. Oh. So let's start with the standard. If you're into game collecting or looking to get into game collecting, one thing that I think you have to have in your collection, especially if you're going retro, is a game bit screwdriver. Um, the reason this is important is it's going to allow you to get into NES cartridges, SNES cartridges, and N64 cartridges. Reason that is important. That can be a big part of cleaning. Also making sure that you are getting an authentic cartridge. There are a ton of repros out there. So one thing to be identified is if it doesn't have these type of screws, there is a chance that you have a reproduction cartridge. And then you also want to open it up 
to make sure the board is in good shape and I'm dropping screws everywhere but uh, you want to make sure the board is in good shape and usually somewhere on the board you are going to have uh, Nintendo uh, markings and you know that is going to be very important it's a telltale sign of whether you have a authentic cartridge and right here you see 1994 Nintendo right on the board you've got Toshiba chips and in this case you've got a battery for saving your game these will go bad we have reached the state especially for NES and SNES games where this is going bad and needs to be replaced if you wish to actually save on your cartridges so you can't be a retro collector without a game bit. The unique. One thing that I use, it's tried and true, and I've had it since I started collecting, is this uh, little razor scalpel type deal, if you will. It's got an angular blade on it. And the reason I like this um, is it helps in a lot of situations, and I don't have a controller sitting here, but to go down the crack of a controller, um, to help either pry it open or get, you know, like you get that uh, cruddy stuff in the seams of a controller from one's hands. And I also like this, especially for Super Nintendo and NES cartridges. You see how you've got these ridges here. Well, they are a pain in the ass to clean. And I don't usually go blade direct, but I'll have like a paper towel or a cloth under it. If you, I don't know if you can see this, but on this heavy barrel thing, there's a little bit of grime and gr grunk right there or gunk in that little area. It allows me to get into those finer um, areas and get it really clean with precision and detail. So I have used this thing a ton um, with label repairs um, and getting, you know, you can see this cartridge hasn't been cleaned yet, but right up in here, there's some more of that, uh, um, I don't know what you wanna call it, just gnarliness uh, right up there. And this tool is very crucial to that. I don't see, I haven't, I guess I haven't seen a ton of people use this, but I'm sure they have something to this effect to get into those fine, tight spaces and the identifier. If you've been watching our channel, you might already know where we are going to go with this. Uh, a lot of our cleaning, repairs, etc., happen off the clock, if you will. We don't spend a lot of gaming off the grid time cleaning stuff. That's more after hours. And I get great pleasure in bringing games back to life or consoles and things like that. So it's something I like to do to wind down for the evening. And a good cold brew and a fine cigar. Oh yes. That would be the identifier of the gaming off the grid cleaning kit. All right, those are three essentials to our cleaning and repairing endeavors over here at Gaming Off The Grid. Back to you, do you nerd? Screwdriver is a great idea. That's why we bought ourselves a screwdriver kit so that we can open any and all cartridges and game systems when we go on the road. Yeah, because let's face it, sometimes that could be the difference between buying Zombies Ate My Neighbors and, oh no, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. We also could not agree more with that identifier because you are so true. Cleaning the games happens off the clock and you want to be able to enjoy that time. Well, nerdlings, I hope that you learned a little something today. Maybe you saw some things that you have in your own cleaning kit. Maybe you got some ideas of things to add to your cleaning kit and maybe had a little fun along the way, making sure that you make those cleaning kits yours. I am going to leave links to all these awesome channels in the description below. Thank you guys so much for joining thank us you, thank and you. showing us your kits. And uh, I think it's time to uh, get some stuff cleaned up. Cheers, nerdlings. Yeah, have some chips, drink some beer, and clean some games and toys and whatever you collect. Well, that's good. On some chips. Ah, frosty good. <laughs> Somebody's hungry. Give me that. I need you too. Me too! I love the thing about the... the uh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> she does love the thing about the gig booty 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 gig